Hello everyone, welcome to Lost in the Real. This is Sean, and I'm going to be doing a review of the 2020 film, Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always. Uh, and this film is available on demand if you want to watch it, and I recommend that you do. So let's get started. Um, this film is going to be very divisive, I think, from the synopsis of it, just because it is about abortion. Um, it is about two girls who live in Pennsylvania, and they are not able, uh, one girl is not able to get a abortion there uh, legally. So her and her cousin go to New York City to get, uh, for her to get that abortion. And it's a harrowing story, Honestly, it is like it was almost frightening for me to watch it because uh, obviously I've never had to deal with that situation. But this movie is able to create that realistic, raw um, story of this poor girl who's trying to get an abortion. She doesn't want her parents to know. And it's just so, it's it's blatant. It is exactly what it is. It's not trying to uh, go on any political spectrum, but it's just showing you the story of this girl who's trying to get this, um, this surgery done for herself. And I really respect everything that they've done here. Uh, I kept thinking over and over again, like, this is a very, like, cinema verite uh, kind of uh, doing of this story. Like, it's a very slow burn. It's just going to keep going on and on and on. And there's moments where it's like, there's one scene that's absolutely amazing and no spoilers. But uh, it's about five or six minutes and you're literally just looking at this actress's face uh, who plays Autumn, and that's all you see. So the fact that they were able to make it as captivating as it is, is so incredible, and I really commend uh, the director. So talking about the direction, uh, the director is Eliza Hitman, and she is also the writer of the film. And she, uh, and I was very surprised once I started looking up everything, she uh, directed a film called Beach Rats from 2017. And that movie was very similar, uh, but very testosterone driven. And this movie is very much so about, you know, two girl cousins, uh, you know, coming together together. And so I thought that that was a really interesting uh, change in what uh, what this director was doing. But her choices in cinematography and sound, like it just works exactly how it needs to. And I commend her for that. And she hasn't done a lot of films. Um, but I mean, Beach Rats, I loved this movie. Um, and then we have to talk about the actress who stars in this movie. Her name is Sydney Flanagan, and she plays Autumn. And I was so incredibly impressed by this girl. Like, you literally feel like you are her when you're, like, she's going through this. Like, I could not believe the the emotion in her eyes and the way that she portrayed what was happening because it's like I said, it's like I, the scariest situation you could ever go through. And you just felt like you were doing it like with her or that you were her. And I just thought she was incredible and she is a first time actress. So props Sydney Flanagan. We need more of you in our lives. Um, also, uh, her cousin, uh, Talia Ryder is the actress and she plays Skylar. She's also really good. Uh, but, uh, Sydney Flanagan just, she's amazing. I can't even talk any more about her. <laughs> um, also I really want to talk about the silence 
in this film because like I said, it is a very slow burn, but the silence is more powerful than if words were to be spoken. And I really love that about this movie because these characters really couldn't speak while this situation was going on because she was in so much pain and so much hurt and it makes the movie so much more suspenseful and it's not a thriller or anything like that, but it is powerful in its silence. And I just really respect that, uh, that use because dude, like ugh, there were moments where I was like, okay, this movie needs to stop. It's like, too much or it's too little but at the end of the day you cared about this character so much because of those silent moments where you just see her eyes you just see all the pain that she's going through and for me never rarely sometimes always is a fantastic film it's gonna be divisive and I don't want to get too political or whatever, but I think that this movie did a really good job of basically just telling the story of one girl through this, uh, this process of getting an abortion. And I've never gone through it. I never will have to, but I think it was very thoughtfully done and I would recommend anyone even if you are liberal or if you're conservative to watch this movie, because I think it would be, uh, it would give you just such a, uh, just like a, a bird's eye view of what this process is. So I will be giving this film a B minus. And that is only because there was a slow burn process throughout the whole entire film. And that's going to work for some people. That's going to not work for some people. But I do think that it's a very important film because it shows realistically what people go through when they have to deal with this situation. So this is Lost in the Real. I'm Sean. And please comment below if you've seen this film and let us know what you think. And then also like and subscribe to our channel. It's really important to us. So we will see you next time. Take care.